Okay, here we go. A short video. This is everything out of the kit. Got a VoIP phone. Going to a HAP. The Milwaukee M18 battery is acting as the PoE for the HAP and for the LHG microwave antenna. The uh, USB power bank is 5 volts and that's what's powering the phone. Phone is very low amperage, 0.2 amps. And the uh, HAP is relatively low. I'm showing this as a wired connection to the HAP because this computer does not have 5 gig Wi-Fi. And then to demo difference, this computer does have 5 gig Wi-Fi, so you can connect to the mesh wirelessly. Also, if you have an iPad, you can connect to the mesh wirelessly. Okay, this is a demo direct dial without PBX. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, how do you copy? Loud and clear in HD. All right. Uh, Not quite HD, this one. I've got everything on a portable setup in the backyard. And uh, just demoing this uh, Art and Mesh portable. Yeah, sounds good from this end. Okay, thanks a lot for the test. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. See ya, bye. This is a real temporary setup showing what the LHG Microtech looks like. I have it on a tripod. We're only uh, shooting a local signal, so we don't need any gain. But this can uh, be raised about uh, 20 feet and uh, pointed in the direction you need it. Okay, this is the uh, antenna raise. I'm gonna do a short test with it it against the uh, SXT and this is what it looks like when it's up in the air okay this is the power source for the Microtech LHG I'm using in the field the AC power adapter is rated at 24 volts 0.38 amp substituting it with this milwaukee m18 battery i usually have them charged uh, around the house so that was a viable solution for a higher voltage than 12 volts for running a longer cat 5 cable that's an injection molded adapter off of ebay pretty cheap and we're running about 80 milliamps right now and that gets replaced with this the meter gets replaced with this 3 amp fuse but you can see it's going directly into the power injector and that seems a viable option for the field power.